Oddworld Soulstorm appears to be utilising a lot of old concept art design, which is quite nice if you ask me. We've already seen many examples, such as the spider tank, never actually seen in a game before, only in concept art, that has been seen now in trailers firing rockets at Abe in Oddworld Soulstorm. Another good example is the way Abe's redesign finally incorporates feathers instead of whatever that thing is they end up with, as was originally intended back in the 90s to represent Mudokons evolving from birds, if memory serves me correctly. But this has been even more apparent recently in new images of the game that Oddworld inhabitants have been casually releasing on their website and social media platforms. Speaking of which, although I hate social media, I keep it all private, I have decided to utilise my Instagram account to Google shunt as Jeremy Clarkson put it. I generally make Oddworld photoshops just in my spare time for fun, so I decided, hey, I'll rework and share some of the stuff I do on my Instagram account. So if you're interested in seeing enhanced concept art, old Oddworld images and Photoshop, most of which is pretty bad honestly. If you happen to use Instagram, I would recommend having a gander if you want. Anyway, the images posted by Oddworld inhabitants are quite interesting because generally a few of them seem to be like of alternate takes of the clips they've been shown in their trailers, and plus they're really good quality. Like they just released this one of Fico Depot, which it feels weird saying that, I keep stuttering when I say Fico Depot now, because my mind does like a triple take as I'm saying it, because it hears me say Fico Depot, and it's like, oh wait, it's Comet Depot, and it goes, oh no wait, it actually is Fico Depot again, I can say that. It's really screwed up the word Fico for me now. So if you have a look, it looks like the shot from the trailer, but I don't think it is because the FICO sign is facing to the left as opposed to the right as it appears in the trailer. And likewise, the position of Abe and his fellow Mudokans doesn't align correctly with the sign in that respect. So it suggests to me it's just like an alternate take or a different shot rather of the same area, which is pretty interesting and good to be fair. You know, that they're not just lazily releasing stills from the trailers or something. It seems to be original from what I can tell. Now I've released a lot, most of which I've already gone through in previous videos, but I wanted to take a closer look at the latest ones. Some of which I might have looked at before, but that I've seen stuff I haven't mentioned or something. As for this Fico Depot one, something I noticed was that if you look closely at the slicks in the background with the laser pointer guns, their guns are blue. And this is indeed also seen again with the same type of gun that has the laser sight in the next image, which is the one of the slick on some kind of chimney looking watchtower looking down searching. So this suggests to me that it's a specific gun that has the laser, which I assume is just to indicate to the player where the slicks are looking and thus where to avoid from a far distance and as a result I consider these slicks as like sniper slicks, I call them sniper slicks, although looking at the gun it's more reminiscent to a stubby machine gun like that we've seen before in Oddworld Soulstorm gameplay, except blue. So I think it probably is still a machine gun, when I say they're sniper slicks I don't mean I think they've got like sniper rifles going pew or something you know, I just mean that they're sniper slicks in respect that they seem to be looking for targets at a far distance with their laser. Likewise, I assume the blue colour is just temporary and indicates that they simply haven't put the textures on the guns yet, as we've also seen bright orange and bright purple weapons as well, unless the slicks now just use brightly coloured guns for whatever reason. On a side note, the way the laser goes big here is also interesting. I wonder if that indicates anything in particular. The next shot is an old one, but I noticed something about it which could relate to a recent theory of mine. It shows apparently mosaic lines, and if you have a look in the background you can see it's on fire. I don't remember noticing this before, but it again backs up my idea that potentially the game may start out in mosaic lines, which might be under attack by the Mogok cartel, and that these clips from the trailers might be in the same place, showing the attack in what might be a tutorial type level maybe. In fact that whole bit up there looks as though it may be playable like part of the level's gameplay that you can go on. Maybe Abe is about to go to that area or has just come from there, having escaped the fiery inferno, and is making his way to safety where that big tall gate and blue area is. I don't know of course, it's just an interesting theory. The next image is simply one of Abe, but I just wanted to point out, you can see the butterfly thing behind him, it reminds me a bit of Spyro's dragonfly spark or whatever he was called. Then there's a nice shot of the greeters showcasing Abe doing his, for some reason, very Looney Tunes style death, and all I wanted to point out, because I didn't notice it before, is that there's a slig in the background, which makes sense considering this is slig barracks. Now back to what I mentioned at the start of this video, the fact that some of these images seem to show Oddworld inhabitants using more concept art ideas for Soulstorm. The thing that excited me the most was this image of Slig Barracks, because if you have a look, it appears that this Slig right here 
is wearing a helmet and not just any helmet but to me unless it's just something in the background behind him that makes it look like this to me it appears to have a spike on it much like the German helmets from World War One now when I saw this slig wearing a helmet an image came into my head of some old concept art of a slig coming out of a tank wearing this sort of German helmet but when I tried looking for it I couldn't find it but then I realized I think I got two other concept art images mixed up in my head one of this slig coming out of a tank wearing a helmet with no spike and one of this tattoo sporting very tough looking big bro slick who is wearing a helmet with a spike very blatantly inspired by the world war one german helmet which by the way is called a pickle hop, which is a great name which from what i gather basically means point bonnet it's rather ironic that these helmets originating in Prussia are at least to me so heavily associated with germany in world war one specifically to the point I personally call them World War I German helmets, as actually they were discontinued in 1916 and replaced midway through the war, because generally made of leather, some by the end were even made out of paper due to resource shortages, they were basically useless on the front line, and were eventually replaced entirely by the Stahlhelm steel helmet, which decreased German deaths from head wounds by 70%. Indeed, the helmet the big row is wearing, much like the pickle hob, to me it looks like it's made of leather and doesn't seem very strong, showing signs of wear and tear, including a few holes. Indeed, this whole Stig's outfit seems very sort of old-fashioned, potentially wartime inspired. He's wearing like leather around his mechanical pants and is smoking some kind of pipe by the looks of it. It's quite an interesting design, which makes it even more interesting to note that Soulstorm may be taking some elements from it for the Sligs in the game. The image of the Slig in a tank, the tank itself by the way resembles to me potentially like some kind of modified mine car, but I seem to say everything looks like a mine car so I'm potentially looking too much into it, but this Slig is also wearing a helmet, though of a different design to that of the big bros. However, a tank itself is done in this very security-oriented design, sporting police lights and all that kind of thing, which is something that wasn't present, in my opinion anyway, in any previous game, but appears to be very dominant in Oddworld Soulstorm, judging by the footage that's been seen. You know, the guard towers are shown having these flashing police lights and all that sort of thing, whereas generally the sligs in the old games just seem like cheap security guards. When they're presented in this manner that they are in Soulstorm, they seem more like a professional police force. And personally, I'm not too big a fan of this aesthetic. I don't think it's a good style for Sligs, as I think it makes these supposed cheap lazy guards look too organised. Much as I don't think Mudokan slaves should have uniforms. But you know, the game isn't even out yet. That's just my initial reaction to the whole police sort of look the Sligs seem to have donned. And we'd have to wait to play the game to see what it's actually like, I guess. But again, it's just another example of something Soulstorm is utilising that was first seen in concept art from years ago. And also, did you notice something while looking at this piece of concept art? You're probably way more observant than me, so you probably did, but it took me ages to notice. But there is an invisible slig in this image. A see-through slig marching alongside a security tank. So I guess at one point, sligs were meant to have invisibility. I doubt it, but I wonder if this might be an idea they will try out in Soulstorm. I just love the way that you think you're looking at the concept art showcasing, you know, this slig tank and whatever, and then just subtly hidden in the corner is just an invisible slig, that's brilliant. Obviously, I could be wrong about the helmet in the Soulstorm image, it's pretty small, so it's hard to tell, it, it might just be something behind the slig pointing up, but to me it looks like it's got a spike, much as we're seeing in the big bro concept art. Even if it's not, it's pretty interesting that this guy's got a helmet, something that again hasn't been seen in the games before as far as I'm aware, not counting whatever it is the armoured sligs wear in Munch's Odyssey. The final thing I'd like to point out about this slig is that he's holding what looks like a big thick stick, maybe some kind of minigun perhaps. It's got this sort of bluey, purpley, glowy bit at the end. So who knows what that could be? Maybe considering the size of it, perhaps that's what the thick bullets seen in the trailer are coming from. I noticed that if you look closely at the sniper slig in the shot of him looking down his sights aiming in front of some steam, you just see a hint of the same blue purple glow colour behind the rail's top bar, suggesting he may have the same implement strapped to his back potentially. The next image displayed on the Epic Games Store page for Oddworld Soulstorm is again of a place seen in the State of Play trailer. I just want to point out that the furnace seems to resemble, pretty closely if you ask me, this concept art for a furnace in Abe's Exodus, especially if you stretched it a little bit. 
So yet again, it's nice to see suggested evidence of concept art being utilised in the game. Although to be fair, I haven't exactly looked into whether any furnaces in previous Oddworld games also resemble this one, so I'm not entirely sure how unique to Soulstorm this edition might be. Finally, I was looking recently at some, I guess, concept posters for Oddworld Abe's Exodus, and this one here reminds me very much of the Oddworld Soulstorm promo image that I did a video on a short while ago. You know, it has a lot of the same elements, Abe in the foreground, Soulstorm Brewery in the background, and the Gluckens in the sky, as well as a very similar colour scheme. So this sort of design isn't as alien to Oddworld as I once thought. With such a long development, I'm sure that we've only seen a relatively small amount of the concept art that is finally being brought to life, and I'm very interested to see what other potentially unused ideas Odd World inhabitants will be utilising in Odd World Soulstorm. Hello, follow me. Ooh. 